What's up, guys? John from the Game Tinkerer here. Um, it is Wednesday, September 9th, and I am going to start something new on the channel. Um, it's kind of hard to get content regularly, um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to put out a video once a week letting you know what I have going on for the channel, um, things that I'm learning, things, uh, projects that I'm working on, um, games that I'm playing, upcoming videos um, will be announced. Um, I can't tell you when they're coming out because I am working on them. Um, I can tell you that the Skyrim mods uh, video for Switch is not going to happen. Um, and the reason being is I went from Atmosphere custom firmware to SXOS. And it's two totally different firmwares. And um, SXOS can do the mods, but it's very, very tedious. And uh, in my opinion, it's not not worth it um, for the uh, average person. Um, now, if you have a system that's running Atmosphere um, custom firmware, it's very, very easy to do them. Um, and I may see if I can run a separate um, custom firmware. Um, I just don't want them to not be compatible and then screw everything up and then I gotta start from scratch because that does happen. Um, so without further ado we're just gonna get right into this video and I um, want to go over projects that I'm working on um, currently. Um, I have a RetroPie um, 3B Plus that I have um, built a nice little console and I'm going to be upgrading that um, system to a 4B plus um, 4 gig model and that will help me support um, better emulation um, obviously it's a much more powerful system it's got way more RAM and that's like a $56 um, upgrade and then I can use the Pi 3B Plus for a separate project, um, which is making a Vita Pi dock. And um, I will make a video on that. There are quite a few videos out there on YouTube um, for that. But I like to be able to, you know, make simple videos that you guys can, can uh, check out. And if you're interested... Um, if I didn't cover any such little detail or something in the video, just leave a comment and um, I will either figure it out, um, I'll let you know, or I will find resources to get you the info that you need. Um, but other than that, the only other thing I have is a Game Boy Micro rebuild. Um, it's not a simple new battery like I thought it was um, you can look down into the charging port and you see corrosion um, and of course I have the bits to undo everything however the screws I guess are corroded as well and um, they won't come out so um, I've got to figure out how to get the screws out I can get replacement screws, and they're pretty cheap. It's like $4 for a whole set for the whole entire system. So um, once we get that taken apart, we will clean it up, diagnose what's going on with it. Um, the blue lights do come on when you plug it in, so it is getting power. Um, I do have a brand new battery to replace that. Um, not sure if we're going to do any kind of screen replacement or anything. may just leave it stock. Um, something that I have that I want to do, um, it's going to cost a little bit, is a screen replacement for my um, Game Boy Advanced SP. Um, it's an IPS screen, and um, I'll be upgrading with a new battery as well. Um, if you have it open and it's old, you might as well replace it. So um, I'm going to be doing that um, when money allows. So that's probably months down the road. Um, 
do have birthdays and the holidays are coming up so that may be after the holidays thing but I will keep you posted on that um, things that I'm learning still um, I built a Pi 4 desktop system to help me with coding um, I love Linux I would run Linux 24 7 if I wasn't so um, reluctant or not reluctant uh, reliant on Windows um, now I did go full off Windows for a couple of years and um, I didn't play any PC games or um, the Windows applications I did use were like really old um, so I was using a really old copy of Adobe um, Photoshop and stuff like that um, it's come a long ways from when that was happening uh, I was using Ubuntu um, 5.04 I believe at the time so that's 2005 uh, it's come a long ways so if you guys are interested in me doing a Linux video um, leave a comment down below um, I don't know a lot I still consider myself a noob when it comes to uh, Linux and I've been using it since 2005 so um, off and on um, not a power user by any means but um, I mean, I'm not exactly still green, um, if you get what I'm saying. But um, anyway, getting back on track, I built the Pi 4 system to use. Um, I built it with the Argus case. Uh, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's a very snappy system. I got the, uh, here I can show it. Let me get it right here. Just unplug these. So I'm using the Argus case, and of course, uh, got to have the Stormtrooper, these nuts, um, and I've got the the Pi 4 B plus 4 gig model in here, and um, again, this is the Argus case, uh, very very nice case. This whole thing acts as a heat sink. Um, it does have active cooling in there as well, so it has a fan. It's got full access to the uh, GPIO. So if you're building projects and stuff like that, you still have access to the GPIO. It's got all the I.O. on the back. And I'm using this um, Samsung 3.1. Um, I believe this is the 128 gig model. Yeah. It's so a 128 gig model. Um, I've got the OS and all the apps and everything on there, so it boots from the uh, the flash drive. It's a very fast system. Um, this can actually be used full time as a um, desktop replacement, and it's uh, you can do everything you can with a regular desktop, um, with the exception of playing games and stuff like that. But web browsing. Uh, watching Netflix, stuff like that. That's all you need. Um, but with that, I am learning um, Python and JavaScript um, coding. And I'm actually doing that with Minecraft. Um, doing it for Minecraft. That way I can learn. And um, as you're doing that, you can do the code and have the game running in the same time and it will actually uh, happen in game so it's pretty cool um, if you guys are wanting to learn that um, just look it up there's all kinds of resources for it there's books um, online web stuff that you can do uh, it's pretty cool so um, games that I'm playing currently I am playing on the PS4 for both of these. Uh, just got Ni no Kuni 2. Um, got that today. It's a very good game. Um, of course, I've known that it was a very good game from the get-go. Uh, the first one is also really good. So if you guys like JRPGs, um, pick up the first one, pick up the second one, and you'll be good for hundreds of hours. Um, another one that I'm playing with a buddy of mine is Generation Zero. Uh, I will be having a video of this come out soon. Um, I was planning on doing some 
uh, video capture today. Uh, we've been playing it for a while, but I haven't uh, recorded anything. I've been streaming it on Twitch. Um, so go over to twitch.tv slash game tinkerer. Um, subscribe if you choose. Uh, follow me. Uh, I've been uh, on there for a few, uh, few days a week um, streaming. But uh, Generation Zero is a pretty cool game. Came out um, a couple years ago, I believe. And you are in Sweden. Uh, you're a teenager in the 80s. And you and some of your friends go on holiday to a nearby island. And when you come back, there is nobody to be seen. Um, and there are these robots that are all over the place. And um, basically, you're trying to find out what's going on, why it happened, and everything like that. It's a pretty cool game. Um, it's very challenging. Uh, one player. I I enjoyed it, um, but I talked my friend into getting it, and we've been playing it. And it's, it's so much fun with more than one person. Um, it does get very, very challenging, um, especially later on in the game. Um, and you'll be able to see some of the battles that we have, and it's it's just utterly ridiculous. And we're running back and forth and shooting, and it's it's nuts because there's like forest everywhere, and then you've got all these big robots, and they're shooting at you in every direction, and you're just trying to not shit yourself while you're uh, getting away from them. But um, that's all for what I'm playing right now. Uh, I'm not playing anything on the Switch currently. Uh, I'm trying to get a copy of Ring Fit Adventure that is not $120. Uh, that is a $60 game, and uh, I am not paying that much money for it. So, um, Videos that I have coming up. Um, obviously, I've got the uh, Generation Zero video coming up. Um, I've got to capture footage for that. So that'll be, um, hopefully this weekend, that'll come out. And then I will be working on a video on why should you mod a system or console. And another video on why should you mod a controller. And um, I will have links and descriptions and stuff like that for those videos. Um, I will let you know when those will drop. But other than that, that is all I have going on this week. Um, I am home on quarantine again, um, so I have time to actually work on some stuff, and that's about all we got going on, so we will see you in a few days. Um, if you haven't liked the channel, go ahead and like it, subscribe, and um, leave some comments. Um, what are you guys are playing, what kind of projects you got going on. Um, and if one of you offers 3D printing, let me know, because I'm in need of a, um, a dock for my Vita that will also house a uh, Raspberry Pi. So, uh, there was somebody that had a video and he 3D, print, 3D printed his own, and it looked really cool, and, um... So if you offer those services, put it down below. I'll get in contact with you. And um, other than that, hope you guys are staying safe out there. Spread love, not hate. This uh, world's ugly enough the way it is. And uh, keep on gaming, guys. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Boom!